lovelies, I hope you're all well. So we are on desktop today, that is Windows or Mac. And I thought I'd quickly just show you the curve tool. I absolutely love the curve tool. I remember back in the day when we used to have to manually place everything to curve it. So this is fantastic. It's available on desktop and for iOS as well. So I will be doing a video on the Apple app so that's uh, iphone or ipad but for now we're on desktop which as i say is windows or mac i'm going to grab myself a text and we'll just write curve a couple of times because you know we're super original now as long as i don't ungroup this or weld it i can use the curve if i change the makeup or the DNA of this, then the curve tool becomes unavailable. So what I like to do, and you can curve it either way, is I like to get it curved first. And I might play with the letter spacing a little bit. And that can change the way that the curve looks as well. And then I can come in and select a font. And of course, that is going to change the way in which it looks. And you can use this with cut, you can use it with pen, you can use it with the foil tool, the engrave tool, the deboss tool. It doesn't really matter what the operation is. You'll be able to use the curve tool as long as you don't, as I say, ungroup it or weld it or use any of the combined tools. So, as you can see, depending on the font that I use will depend upon the difference in the greatness of the curve, how the curve's going to look, how the individual letters look. So it is, I always find that when I want to curve something, I can spend hours on it because sometimes it works beautifully and then other times you may find you have to play with it a bit more. So I can really decide the way that I want this to be. I can of course make it larger. I can rotate it if I want to rotate it. I could add an image into here. I can of course change the letter spacing. And I can just make something a little bit different. Now, if I'm going to choose a cursive font, let's go with this one, they can sometimes be a little bit more temperamental than some of the kind of normal fonts. So you do find with curved ones that you do need to play with the spacing and that will then in turn change the makeup of the curve and when you then change the curve it's going to change the spacing as well so when you're working with a cursive font and you want to curve it my advice is to get the curve how you want it first and then play with that letter spacing now that was a kerned font that I used. If I select an unkerned font, or a font that may or may not be kerned, let's go to a system font. Let's choose something like this one. Okay, so that is automatically kerned for us, but if I then create that curve, that's gonna completely change the way that that sits. And I could use my letter spacing, but then that doesn't always work out either. So what you may sometimes find is that it doesn't matter how much you play with the letter spacing or the curve, you may need to manually curve it. So what I tend to do with that is I'll come in and ungroup it. Now when I do that, I then won't be able to use the curve tool. And then I like to get myself a circle. I can then come in and then manually 
get these how I want them. And you may find that you need to manually move some letters around. You may need to kind of have a good old play with it until you've got it how you want it. Once you've then got it how you want it, I mean, that looks awful, but you could literally spend hours on this. You could then come in because it's cursive, we would either want to weld, which as we know, you cannot undo, or we can unite, which is welding, but it can be undone. And then we can go and cut. So you could, the thing with curving is that it can be a two minute job or it can be a 20 minute job. It really does depend on the font that you're going to use. It depends on the word that you're using because different letters react differently. So you will find with the curve feature that a lot of the time it's nice and quick and easy, but especially with cursive fonts, you can end up spending a lot more time on it than what you think you will. And you may then also need to manually curve it as well. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.